guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography, drones, tech, laser engravers and whatever interests me, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're talking about a laser engraver today. We're talking about the most powerful laser engraver I've ever tested. It's the Laser Tree K60. This is a crazy laser engraver because it embeds a button here and you can switch from 20 to 40 to 60 watt. It was a mission to review this. I had to put my entire laser structure outside because the air extraction in this studio was not enough. It was a kind of a mission. Let's roll the intro and let's dive into it. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I've been going. Most of you probably already know. Geek's Outfit is providing me beautiful outfits to show out when I shoot my videos. This is the summer collection. All the links for Geek's Outfit will be down in the description. Go check them out. I think they deserve it. Okay, Laser Tree K60. This monster beast is like weighing more than three kilograms. It's a crazy laser that can be mounted on any of your uh, set up on any of your frames. You can even purchase the frame on Laser Tree's website. They only provided the model and the model itself, it's a beast. As I said before, there's three buttons. You can control power, power. you can go from 20 to 40 to 60 watt. And uh, by modifying this, also your light burn setting will be uh, will be affected. If you select 20 watts, you will have 100% of power on a 20 watts and so on and so forth. So very interesting laser model, very fa very powerful. They still have this like uh, focusing uh, system, which I found a little bit, you know, if I must say, a little bit problematic considering this weighs approximately three kilograms and driving up and down on the slide. I mean, it requires a little bit of attention. Probably a better system for the future would be nice. Unboxing was straightforward. As you can see, it's uh, it comes in a great box. I mean, Laser Tree has, uh, I mean, I've already unboxed stuff from Laser Tree and they always come packed really, really well. And uh, this laser engraver, I mean, you can, you can literally feel uh, the premiumness of this laser compared to the other ones who have plastic body. This is like completely, complete aluminium body and uh, it has this secure magnetic door inside with a um, uh, screen protector, a little bit of a screen protector. It comes with air assist and it comes with the standard uh, tri uh, tripolar uh, mount that made it very, very easy to connect. And uh, you're probably seeing in these images right now how I fixed up my all my connections and wiring system. So it looked and it, uh, it felt a little bit better also on an eye and uh, so that the cables would not get caught in the middle of movement. I'm pretty sure that all of you are been waiting or skipping forward to see uh, what this laser is uh, capable of. I mean, of course, as soon as I received, received it, I wanted to test like basic stuff, how it can perform in, um, in low power with low voltage. I mean, can detailed things come out uh, good? And what I did, 
was engraving this little like two millimeters plywood uh, sticks like to see if the laser at 20 watt was able of holding it in a in a good way and i was surprised by the 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 malleability of this laser i mean it can be used also for very thin things that need precise and uh, slow movement so it's not just a beast it can even be kind of gentle and i love this i also printed out this do not disturb sign for my wife or when she's in the toilet and <laughs> it was fun i liked it I probably i was using 20 watts uh, i was using 20 watts and uh, uh, with a very low power but nonetheless it went through in, uh, in a little bit of uh, spots but it's still usable i like it i tested this also on some other uh, pieces of wood I had lying, laying there and uh, try to engrave my engrave my logo. I will do close up of all these in a in a second. But the results on low power are over my expectation. I was I was in the I was thinking that my idea was that on a low voltage probably it would not perform as a 20 watt laser or even less but i was surprisingly convinced about the opposite something i would like to mention also is the fact that uh, my macpow air assist connects straight away into the laser so if you're engraving something or you want to do a design that requires air assist also on cuts that's amazing and it works perfectly on my MacPow uh, setup, on my MacPow structure. So really, really good on low voltage. Pumping up the voltage and guys, stay until the end because I have a surprise for you. I engraved something for my daughter and uh, she's gonna freak out when she sees it. I was scared of doing that, but I'm, I managed to do it and results were amazing okay after pumping up the the laser to 60 watts i really wanted to you know do something uh, better i don't know if you've seen this style i had engraved this on previous videos i wanted to see if he was able to cut my parquet tile and this is like kind of 1.7 and uh, this is the result. I mean, it came out, it burned a little bit because, because I think the power was a little bit too much. I cut this on 100 speed at 100 power, 100% power at 60 watt. It would have probably been perfect on uh, 60 speed on 100. Uh, 100% uh, power and maybe one or two passes, two or three passes, it would have been cleaner and probably it would have not set on fire as it did. But again, guys, this laser is really, really powerful and uh, it surprised me. I was scared. I was scared also because sometimes cutting wood, I could see a flame even though air system was on and I was scared like the alarm was gonna go off uh, at any time. But it didn't, I mean, it controlled uh, the constant power and uh, it managed really, really good. I don't want to get into details on, um, on, uh, on, uh, on the cutting. I just want to give you some, uh, some uh, notes uh, I did. Uh, one of the biggest, like, thickest thing I've, uh, I've, I've cut is this piece of uh, mixed wood. I mean, I think it's pine wood, it's really hard. It's over three centimeters. And uh, I, I cut this in five passes at 100% power and 500% speed, 500 speed. So not the slowest because I didn't want to start fire. 100% power set on 60 Watt. And uh, it was great. I'm pretty sure you can cut it with one pass at 100% power 
on 80 uh, on 80 old speed. I didn't want to test that because I didn't want to start the fire, but it went it went amazing. All the plywoods and, and stuff like that were like extremely easy to cut, one point centimeters cut at 100% power at a speed of 600, 1.5 cut at two, uh, 200 millimeters per minute at 100 of power. I will put everything in, in graphics so, so you can understand. And two centimeters of plywood X60 watt uh, cut at 170 millimeters per minute at 100% power. This laser is a combination of three different lasers, a 20 watt, a 40 watt and a 60 watt. And for somebody who's into DIY, this is something that you should have. It's a laser that's malleable for like small things, small engravings, you can go on metal. I didn't test it on metal because I didn't have any metal, but I've seen some videos, I will put them here on screen of people engraving metal with this in a way I've never seen done before. Of course, it does leather and all other kinds of materials. The last thing I want to show you and uh, which was I was extremely uh, scared and at the same time thrilled is uh, my daughter's snowboard. I recently purchased on Vinted my uh, a snowboard, a little small snowboard for my kids. I purchased them on Vinted because I mean they're growing so the length of their snowboard is always changing and uh, it was a bit, bit bumped, it's a Barton uh, snowboard and I wanted to personalize with uh, my kid's name, my daughter's name. And this is the result. Her name is Martina and as you can see, I engraved her name here. I will put a close up so you can see. This was done at 40 watts with a power of 20% and a speed of 2000 and uh, it scraped the first layer like perfectly. I'll probably put some resin on top and coat it a little bit because I don't want water to get inside and destroy the snowboard. Uh, my idea was not to go so deep so again test it before, don't do what I did. Uh, even though it was 40 watts, it was fast, and this, the power was very low. I went a little bit too deep, I mean probably one or two millimeters too deep compared to what I wanted. But anyway, the result is, is amazing. Getting back to us, who's this laser for? This laser is for somebody who uh, is into DIY, who has a big office and doesn't have his wife on his neck that can piss him off on like, you know, what, whatever smoke you're creating. Remember, it's a 60 watt and it requires a lot of attention. Always wear your protective glasses uh, while, while you're operating a laser. You can never know. Laser can bounce from one side to the other, get to your cornea and you're lost. So yeah, price point is standing right now at around $700. All the links will be down in the description. 700 euros, 700 dollars. That's approximately the price for both currencies. And uh, my opinion is that it's a no-brainer if you're working with wood, if you're working with any kind of DIY, and if you have a good setup to make it work. Again, connection were great, so uh, nothing, uh, nothing crazy to learn. No uh, learning curve, uh, exaggerated learning curve to go through. All the links to purchase laser tree will be down in the description for for your reference and that was all for today guys i really hope you enjoyed the video smash the like button if you did like the video subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and i'll see you guys on the next one